universe we live in is so huge and full of mysteries, and we know these mysteries only as much as the universe wants us to know. It's obvious that there is much more that has not yet been discovered and is waiting to be discovered. Over the past decade, photos of a black hole were taken. Look into the heart of atoms and watch the birth of the universe. And however, there are gaping holes in our understanding of the universe and its laws. This mystery is gonna be troubling physicists and astronomers over the next decade and beyond. Visual, everyday vacuum. The tremendous energy of the inflationary vacuum had to go somewhere. Then they created the matter and heated it to extremely high temperatures to produce the Big Bang. Quite possibly, this whole process could have started with a mass of expanding vacuum in a mass of sugar bags. The next obvious question is, of course. A remarkable property of such symmetries is that they are also empty symmetries, a completely empty universe. So maybe turning nothing into something wasn't such a big deal. Perhaps it was the transition from the nothingness to the structured nothingness of a galaxy-filled universe. Scientists have pointed out that when the temperature drops, water turns into the structured water or ice. This is because ice is more stable. They speculated that the universe may have gone from nothing to the structure nothing because structured things are more stable. Another question is, why are there massive black holes at the center of galaxies? There are about 2 trillion galaxies in our universe. And as far as we know, almost all of them contain supermassive black holes at their centers. Stellar black holes are known to form in supernova explosions in which the core of a star implodes. But no one knows how supermassive black holes form. For most of the history of the universe, the center of galaxy was a place where a lot of matter was confined in a small volume. Supermassive black holes may be formed from dense clusters of stellar black holes that continue to merge. Preliminary evidence for this came from the combination of two black holes revealed by gravitational wave detection. One hole was too large to be a supernova relic and may have been caused by an earlier merger. Another way to form supermassive black holes is to directly contract dense gas clouds. They can form from a combination of cloud collapse and black hole coalescence. It is also possible that a supermassive black hole was formed during the Big Bang. It provides a novel answer to the cosmic chicken or egg question. Which came first? the galaxy or the supermassive black hole. Instead of forming galaxies first and then spawning such monsters, supermassive black holes form first, providing the seed from which galaxies of stars form. Despite their mass, even the largest supermassive black holes are only slightly larger than our solar system, but they project their power over millions of light years through retrograde jets of ultra-velocity matter. Dark matter emits no light or emits too little light for us to see. We know it exists because we have seen its gravitational effects on visible stars and galaxies. There had to be a lot of invisible matter that couldn't pull in enough matter too, but the added gravity accelerated things. Or dark matter isn't a liquid made up of single particles, it's as complex as the atomic matter that surrounds us. Who knows, maybe the universe is full of dark stars and dark planets and dark life. 